Okay, good morning. Um, start lesson 14.5. 14.5 is going to be a fun one, um, breath of fresh air after the difficult 14.4, which I uh, talked about yesterday. So watching the Pearson video for this lesson, uh, which you'll see on Pearson Realize website, it's a really good resource. That's what it talks about, right? So I'm just going to real briefly touch on the guided practice today, which was located on page 336 in your textbook. So I wrote out the graph the best I could, uh, which you'd also probably want to do in your notebook as you work through this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read to you number one and talk about some of the answers to these today. So number one in guided practice, page 336 reads, how would you infer, I always think of inferring as reading between the lines, how would you read between the lines that Lynn was not at the grocery store at point B on the graph? So you'll see point B right here. Now I think if you go to the grocery store, you're not going to be there. So it says five minutes. She didn't spend any time there. You don't go to the grocery store and just spend any time there. You have to spend a little bit of time there. So that's how I would say she would do it. And the book says the answer key, which I'll send your parents, is she's not far enough from home. But I'm just like, she didn't spend any time there. Number two reads, what does point C tell you about Lynn's location? So we have point C right here. This is distance from home. So she starts her trip at home, she leaves. So point C, what can we think? I think she went back home. So I'd say she went back home, she probably forgot something. Maybe she forgot her purse or maybe she got her, forgot a reusable bag, something along those lines. Number three says, how can you explain what happened between point A and C? So A, B, and C, what happened between them? I would say Lynn left home, she all of a sudden thought she forgot something, she went back home and got it, and then she continued her journey. Number four, why does point B represent half the distance to the store? Why does point B represent half the distance to the store? Point B is located right here. The store is located right here. Two, four, six, eight. Eight divided by four is two, so that's halfway to the store. Now, number five on guided practice says, why can you say Gwen shopped for 10 minutes? Why did she stop for 10 minutes? We can assume this is the trip to the store, the furthest away from home. This was 20 minutes into her journey. And at 30 minutes into the journey, she left. So she spent about 10 minutes at the grocery store. Okay. Um, let's not worry about number six, but you're going to be asked to write or interpret stories from these graphs. So I'm just going to read to you what the book wrote about a story about this graph. Okay, this is, you saw this in the video already. I'm just going to read it to you. Lynn, and I'll follow along the chart to help you. Lynn leaves home at point A to go to the store. At point B, she is halfway to the store, but realizes she had forgotten her wallet. So she goes back home to point C. After getting her wallet, Lynn go, walks to the store at point D. Um, she shops for 10 minutes to point E. Then she walks home, arriving at point F. And that's the end of her 40-minute trip to the store. So you're going to see some different graphs. You're going to be writing a story about it. So I always have students in the past add kind of funny twists and stuff to them. So like I said, um, fun lesson. Have fun with it. Uh, write some good little stories to it. Uh, breath of fresh air after lesson 14.4, uh, which is a real tough one. So she did well on it though yesterday. All right. Um, I'm posting this on Thursday, a day early. But uh, enjoy your weekend. I'll see you guys all at our Zoom meeting on Monday. Have a great day. Bye.